Uh, welcome to Cooper's World. I'm Steve Cooper. Um, I know it's been two years since my last video. Um, I will explain where I've been for the last two years um, and what I've been doing. But for the last five, six weeks we've been locked down. I've been still collecting my Nintendo uh, games. So I've got a big stack here to go through with you. Um, I'm going to try and whisper them so this video is not too long. Um, and then I'll do a bit of explaining what I've been doing over the last two years. So, starting off, um, back end of last year, I've been buying a few bits and pieces off a colleague at work. He's been clearing out his son's bedroom with his son's at uni, um, selling a few GBA bits to me, um, a few DS bits. Uh, he came across uh, two things last week. He wanted to know if I want them for free. So, uh, of course, I'm never going to turn anything down that's free. So, I'll just show you what I've got. So I've got Pokemon Pearl. Copy of that. Um, not bad condition. Um, it's got the manual. The only thing it doesn't have is the cartridge. Um, that's why it's free. Um, so we'll be in the market for picking up a cartridge for this when the price prices have uh, dropped down a little bit because they're a, a bit mad at the moment with lockdown. That's uh, Pokemon Pearl. That was my second ever Pokemon game I owned after Sapphire. There, so a bit of nostalgia there. The uh, other thing he gave me free of charge was uh, Pokemon White 2. Now, I've never played this one. Um, nice condition box again, trying to get the glare off of there. Um, with the manual, again, without the cart. So, um, you have to source a cart for that one as well. Now this one goes for a little bit more than Pearl for some reason. I presume because it's a later later release. But um, prices are ridiculous at the moment. So again, I'll wait till uh, the prices come back down for that on eBay. Um, next item I've got. Um, I picked this up about two weeks prior to lockdown. I'd gone into local cash converters. Um, they've normally got a load of rubbish that... Um, CX won't take sort of damaged boxes and uh, um, basically rubbish. I, I went in there and I, I picked up this one thing. Um, primarily, well, I'll show you what it is. It's uh, SpongeBob SquarePants light camera pants on the Game Boy Advance. Now, the reason this caught my eye is because it's in the original box. Um, you don't get Game Boy games in the original boxes very often, so. Whenever I see one, I try and pick one up. Yes, I am a sucker for Nintendo Cardboard. So I had to pick this up. Um, this has got the manual and the cartridge. The manual is very good condition. There's a safety guide just there. Try and get the manual out without damaging it now. So. That's the manual, as you can see. And, and the cartridge. So that was uh, £2.20 uh, at cash converters, so I, £2.20 is nothing, so I just wanted to pick that up. Um, next, during lockdown, I've been trying to um, boost up my GameCube collection. Um, I've noticed GameCube prices are going quite high now, so I'm trying to pick up some of the lower-end games before they all start to follow suit. Now, some of these are quite low end games but so I'll, I'll go through those with you so for a pound I managed to pick up NBA Live 06 on the GameCube that was a pound with 150 delivery with manual and disc and safety guide as well for those who uh, collect those things as well box is in very good condition with no marks on the label or the box. So I'm quite pleased with that. It will go on the shelf and never get played like a wheelie. Next uh, two games I've got as a, a bundle on uh, eBay. So it was two games for the price of uh, £2.53 with £3.50 postage. Um, okay, I'll show you the first one. It's The Incredibles. On the GameCube. 
a slight mark. I don't have to counterfeit that up there on the on the box. I could get a box swap if it really bothers me at some stage, but other than that, the back's all nice. And disc and manual. Uh, is there a safety guide? No, there is a leaflet. THQ, register your game inside the box. That was the first game in the two I picked up, the two round 53. The second one was Legends of Wrestling. Never played this one either. Um, did like my wrestling games back in the day. So I can take the glare off of there. Um, now this one's got a slight bit of damage on the box again there. Again, the uh, insert's okay. It's just the box, so I can do a box swap at some point. And this one is complete with manual and disc. And has a, another registration card inside and safety manual. So, Legends of Wrestling. Hulk Hogan on the front with Brett the Hitman, I believe. Um, yeah, £2.53. Um, next GameCube game I picked up is one I've never played before. I've never played any in the series either. So I had to pick that up. I've got it for £2.70. It's in, in good condition. It had £1.64 postage. I don't know why the weird amount postage. but And that's uh, Ghost Recon 2 for the GameCube. Now there's no... There's a small dent there if I'm really worried. But um, other than that, but boxes are marked. Inside, safety guide, manual and disc. All these discs are in very good condition when I uh, have checked them over. So that was £2.70. Um, next game, it, again, just before lockdown, I got into my local game. Now, I, I very rarely go in there for new games because they're too expensive and Amazon are way cheaper. Um, and secondly, their pre-owned games uh, for Nintendo are either non-existent or very bad titles. But I, for some reason, I went in there that day and um, they had on the shelf for £2.70 Super Smash Bros. Wii U. Now, um, I took this up to the counter. It's got the uh, what they call a manual nowadays and disc. I took this up to the counter. Lo and behold, he put this in the drawer and pulled out a brand new copy sealed. So for two pound seventy, I got a sealed, brand new, untouched version Super Smash Bros. Wii U. So, I mean, they go for that way more than that on uh, CX to buy for pre-owned so I'm, I'm very happy with that for the Wii U. Um, next couple of games were eBay purchases during lockdown. Um, been trying to look for my uh, Super Nintendo collection as well. So this game is a game that I used to play with my brother non-stop every single day when the Super Nintendo was released and this game was new. Um, we put so many hours into this back in the day that I bought it mainly on nostalgia and hopefully when lockdown finishes he can come over and I can beat him at it, hopefully. <laughs> so that is uh, Super Soccer for the Super Nintendo. This is boxed with the manual. I'll put it in a box protector now. Um, there is some slight wear on the edges um, and it did have some folds in it I've given it a bit of an iron you can see some fold lines there as, as long as the box is in relatively good shape and everything's there then I'm then I'm quite happy I, if I do come across a better version a better quality version later on I might do a swap out but I'm more than happy with this um, this cost me uh, three pounds and uh, a further three pound forty eight delivery. So I'm very happy with that. Next up, sorry, it's going to be another sports title for the uh, in, uh, Super Nintendo, uh, and that 
is another football game. I've never played this one. And that is FIFA International Soccer. Um, this one is boxed with manual as well. The only thing with this one, it has got a price label just there. Originally $44.99. Now, I'm reluctant to take that off at the moment until I've worked out a better way of taking that off without trying to damage the box. But yeah, there's some slight little creases in there, but nothing too serious. I think the worst one is on that edge there. But I'm very pleased with the condition of that. That's going to go and fill some space on the shelf. I have got a small bit of space left on the shelf for this. Um, and maybe I'll get to play it when... Uh, I'm tired of beating my brother at Super Soccer. So, um, next game I've got. It was uh, the same time I bought uh, FIFA Soccer. Um, I was at work when this eBay auction was ending, so I just chucked on a bid. And uh, I won it. I've never played this game as well. Um, it's in very good condition for the box. And that is Super Tennis. Um, box is in quite nice condition there is some little I'm going to be overly fussy a little bit of stuff in there but other than that I can't and, and, and there but other than that I can't see anything wrong with that the manual is lovely the car is lovely all the inserts so for uh, £2.20 I couldn't pass that up so that's starting to bolster out my uh, Super Nintendo box collection. As you can tell, I'm a big fan of Nintendo cardboard, so I'd like to have the boxes if I can rather than the loose cart. Um, next purchase, um, everyone seemed to be, certainly before lockdown and before Animal Crossing came out, into Pokemon. Um, for whatever reason, I went on eBay and bought this for the price I did and instantly regretted it because I firmly believe I've overpaid and I probably could have got this at CX a bit cheaper but what I have bought Pokemon Revolution Battle Revolution sorry on the Wii it's in nice condition I can't complain with the condition it's got the disc and the manual uh, and the safety guide for those interested um, so yeah, there's, there's no complaints on the condition. Um, I paid $9.99 with £1.30 postage. Now, I might have been thinking at the time, in a bit of a haste, that this was the other Wii Pokemon title that I was picking up cheap. Um, that goes for £70, I believe, on CX last I looked. But yes, I'm, I'm pleased with it. It's going to fill a space on the shelf, and it's in good condition, so... Next game, I I don't know what drew, drew me to pick this up, but it, it was a good price. It comes with cardboard. Um, I've never played any of the games in the series. Um, it was for the 3DS, so I'll show you what I picked up. And that is Chibi Robo, the big box edition with the Amiibo. So the eBay pictures weren't overly clear and when it's arrived there is a bit of damage there and a bit of damage I don't know if that'll pick up there but other than that the box is perfect now when I went back and looked at the eBay listing you can sort of zoom in and see that bit of damage so the hot seller wasn't really hiding it um, I already own the Amiibo yes I collect little plastic figures as well um, so, this boxed Amiibo will probably be sold on to try and recoup some of my money back off this game. Um, and the game itself. With what they call a manual nowadays and the cartridge. There is no damage to this box. It's in very good condition. I'm very pleased with that. Now that cost me altogether um, £3.11 and then £2.90 postage. So 
you're talking what six pounds six pounds for that i'm going to try and sell that amiibo maybe i get three pounds for it i don't know I, I don't know what that'll go for but recoup half my money back maybe maybe all of it i don't know I'll, I'll keep you informed whatever happens with that but yeah i'm quite pleased with that and that's uh to fill another space on the shelf um come out to the last game i've got now um the game everyone seems to be talking about now is animal crossing now i've got a massive backlog on my switch so i don't need to buy another game that i can't get around to playing at the moment i might as well wait until i've got cleared some of that backlog and the price of animal crossing to come back down but what I did pick up, which I thought I already owned, so I had to pick it up anyway because I can't find it, is Animal Crossing on the Wii. The big box one with the Wii Speak inside. Now the box is in lovely condition. Can't, can't fault the box at all. Um, inside, we've got the... Uh, the game now it has had a little bit of rolling there off the uh, off the flap of the box so that will need a box swap and just to sit that insert back down but other than that that box hasn't got a mark on it inside manual disc uh, the Nintendo points unused and safety guides and everything is in the box in there so yes I basically bought that because I used to own it I don't know what happened with it it probably got lost in house moves or I, I, I have no idea but own it again now it comes with the Wii Speak but Nintendo don't support the Wii Speak anymore so the Wii Speak will stay in the box never to be used um, it comes with a big chunky manual also inside the box about how the Wii Speak works It's just a manual. Very boring. Um, so that is my lockdown pickups for the moment. Um, now, where have I been for the last two years? So, if you look at any of my older videos, you'll see my games room was Nintendo Grey. It had black shelving with games and Amiibo and stuff on. And now I'm in a lovely pink room. No, I haven't painted my games room pink. Well, I have painted my games room pink. Because now this is a nursery for my daughter that came along one and a half years ago. So, at the moment, my games room is now moving. It's currently in my bedroom, much to my wife's disgust. And we are having an extension built, which will incorporate a new games room. Um, we're 75% finished on that. And now with lockdown and lack of materials, the builders are willing to come out and finish the extension but can't get the materials to do it doors a bit locked in factories that aren't open so they can't get those so it's currently in limbo my next couple of videos might show you how far we are along with that but that's where i've been for the last two years spending time with my daughter decorating a nursery and playing video games so, thank you guys for watching. Um, there will be more videos coming up. I've got some Switch games to show off. I've got some Nintendo paper to show off as well because uh, watching other YouTubers now, uh, they started getting me to collecting Nintendo paper. And I'll show you what I mean by that. Well, it's Nintendo magazines. So, I've, yes, I've gone on a slippery slope of collecting Nintendo magazines now. So, thank you for uh, encouraging me to do that. <laughs> So uh, I'm going to do some video response videos to, I think there's a 90s one doing the rounds and maybe top 13 albums. So I'll probably do those as well, as well along with my Switch collection and some Nintendo paper and hopefully some more pickups. So thank you for watching guys. Um, if you like what you've seen, give me a like. If you didn't like what you see, give me a dislike. But please leave a comment either way. Uh, I will try and interact with you guys. I am still currently working and going to work every day so trying to go to work coming home spending time with family catching up with everyone's videos and recording content is going to be quite a busy time for me but yes um and that's not even to mention trying fitting gaming time so thank you for watching guys um and i'll see you next time bye bye